Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, June 12th, 2018, 6.07 a.m. All right, we got some early morning low temperatures, 37 up in Maine. We got 40s, mid 40s, lower 50s up in the northwest as well. Uh, situation brewing in Colorado um, as well as New Mexico. Uh, wildfire has broken out. This was on the 10th. Uh, Colorado blaze continues to grow. Entire San Juan National Forest to close. Uh, this is getting pretty significant. Uh, several wildfires have forced evacuations in California, Colorado, and New Mexico. So, uh, more than one area. They're focusing this article on Colorado, though. They're calling this the 416 fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, 3,000 square miles San Juan Forest. They are closing because of this fire. And, um high fire danger you could see up in these mountains this is a mountain area I'm not sure if this is where the, the uh, fire started June 10th but um, ongoing situation again this is taking place in Colorado uh, New Mexico and California uh, closure is expected to be signed Tuesday so that's today they are probably gonna close this place down at least for the time being um, it's going to get worse before it gets better incident commander Todd uh, Pichota uh, told the uh, Durango Herald okay so they're expecting this fire to get worse um, so we're gonna look at wind patterns we're gonna see what's going on in the country we have a big big storm right over Kansas Nebraska uh, this thing is really weird looking I'm gonna back up a few hours to overnight last night so overnight we had this thing explode over the uh, just under the D Dakotas actually in Nebraska border of Nebraska and Iowa now watch what this thing does it actually shoots south Boom, and look how big this thing gets. Look at those dark, bl when you get those black colors, you know there's hail, there is a ton of moisture, and this thing just wants to move south like a big, giant superstorm cell, um, about the size of a state and a half, moving down through Kansas, now Oklahoma, and it looks like it's going to shoot right down into Texas. So Texas, get prepared for this thing. I don't know what this is. It's just a giant blob making its way north to south, basically forming in the just south of the Dakotas and now moving down as the sun begins to shine um, over the middle of the country we're just in daybreak here in the northeast so uh, with that said we are following some other stories too we are following Hurricane Bud which is now the second the second category four storm in the Pacific Ocean back to back we had Aleta and now we have Bud which is gonna go through the the Baja region and then could affect areas of New Mexico even Arizona and Texas and could continue moving up the US and then become a system that moves up into the Northeast so we are keeping an eye on this storm as well um, it will if, it, if there is a landfall it will obviously be <clears throat> Mexico first and then we will see what happens with the moisture as it comes up into the US uh, that storm we just looked at in the middle of the country you can see right here here is the lightning associated with with it. You can see that lightning now entering Oklahoma. It's going to topple down over Arkansas and then Louisiana and Texas as well. But you can see each one of these sensors going off is a current lightning strike. A lot of lightning in the uh, mid to mid east central area of the country. And this is obviously this storm is moving south. This is whipping up into this way. So this thing is going to get caught up probably more than likely in the uh, the draft here of the Gulf uh, moisture that moves up into the northeast and then get re uh, pushed into the northeast is what I'm trying to say here. Sorry guys, a little early. Um, all right, so here are the tracking numbers for Bud. We're expecting it. It is a hurricane, Category Four, obviously. Um, we're expecting it to stay that way and through Thursday and then Friday probably will become a storm once it makes landfall. Cooler waters. Then we will see it into a depression, um, and then we'll see how much water it brings into Arizona, possibly New Mexico, possibly Texas, even California. So, again, we're going to keep an eye on that. The spaghetti plots are showing very similar paths. Current direction is that black triangle, so it is currently moving alongside the West Coast, but is expected to hook back into land. So, again, we got to keep an eye on it. Here is the Caribbean. Now, we are at a 10% watch, or 20%, rather. That just changed, literally, since I posted the video. Uh, five days over five days we're talking 20% so they are talking about this now um, I do have something pulled up where is that little graph here we go uh, we're watching the Caribbean here this is the cell we're watching if this thing starts to rotate and then move up in this direction we could s definitely have cyclone formation that would go right along the lines with the uh, this p this coming weekend as far as this becoming a cyclone so we got to keep a close eye on this 10% over 48 hours 20% over five days uh, we can look at that here. So 10% chance, 48 hours, and then this chart shows the five-day low for t five days, 20%. There we go. So now 
Uh, we have a bit of a cone of uncertainty that would pass through Cancun and in back into Mexico if it stays this way. Could go into the Gulf. We just got to keep an eye on it. Um, according to the models here, this will be the last part of the video for this morning. Sorry if I went through stuff quickly. Got a lot of information. Also, a big eruption again in Kilauea, uh, 5.2 yesterday, right at the peak of the, the volcano, of Kilauea volcano. So another eruption. Things are certainly going to get worse there before they get better, unfortunately. A lot of people saying for the next couple of years we could expect this type of information coming in from Hawaii, which is kind of scary. But anyway, we could see Bud down here. Bud moves up into the U.S. And just as that's going on, we could see... Uh, this wave we are following in the Caribbean, actually in the Atlantic Ocean, make its way up and possibly form, but it is a lot of moisture. We're going to see what happens. It kind of comes up this way. It's hard to see here because there's no formation on the FV3 GFS and not much is formation um, as the CMC goes as well. The CMC shows this as a wave, as you can see right there. Um, not no, no formation really yet, but that could change. But you could see how this thing wants to go up into Louisiana as a moisture system and then get whipped right into the northeast. So again, just because these things don't turn into hurricanes doesn't mean they're not going to affect us in the long run. This obviously will, whether it forms or not. So that is what we're looking at. You got boat over here. Here's a wide view of the same weather, just the GFS version. You can see Bud gets down to 962. That's a little creepy. 960 actually. Moves up into the Baja and then this wave comes up into the Gulf here. So that's where we're at today, guys. A lot of stuff going on. Colorado blazes. Hawaii uh, still erupting. Kilauea. We got the Caribbean going off uh, finally actually heating up. We got a lot of red intensity index here uh, right around Florida in the Panhandle. Got to watch that area. And the Pacific is obviously blowing up two Category 4 storms back to back. Uh, pretty rare um, as we did not really see that last year. So that is it for now, guys. Got to get going. Hope everyone has a great day. I will talk to you all either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.